Hey everyone, welcome back to another sore episode from this season's theme of book chillers for books that provide food for thought. If you haven't already, be sure to take a look at last week's episode on the book Red Madness. Today's episode on the book Never Fall Down is yet another meaningful and more heavy book, which ironically is a Reading Olympics book, just as Red Madness is. These last two episodes have essentially been doubling up on this season as well as the last one. The book follows the protagonist, Arn Chorn Pond, an 11-year-old Cambodian boy who sells ice cream in his village and lives a happy life with his family. That is, until everything changes, when the Khmer Rouge, a communist group trying to take over Cambodia, invades his village, forcing everyone to evacuate due to a threat from the US. Thousands upon thousands of innocent Cambodians, men, women, and children, are forced to walk miles to camps leaving their possessions, hopes, dreams, and lives behind. Upon reaching the camps, they are forced to live in terrible conditions while working on the rice fields from early in the morning to late at night. There are far too many ways to die. Starvation, thirst, exhaustion, lack of sanitation, or simply being murdered by the Khmer Rouge. Arn has to figure out how to survive, and he does so by never allowing himself to fall down, hence the name of the book as those who fall while working in the rice fields are brutally murdered. In search of a better life, when the Khmer Rouge asks who can play an instrument, he offers himself, though he cannot. He learns to play the Kim and puts on performances for Khmer Rouge officials, along with a few other kids. He gets better conditions and better food, but is still treated terribly as the people he knows at the camp die left and right. What will happen to Arn? Will he be able to escape? What will happen to his friends and the family he's been separated from? If he does escape, will he be able to save his people? If so, how? Read to find out and join this horrifying true story of the conflict in Cambodia. For me, I could relate a lot to the story since I learned about the terrible events that occurred during the Vietnam War in my AP History class. President Nixon's invasion of Cambodia and conflict with the Khmer Rouge impacted many lives such as Arn's. This book kept me on the edge of my seat and made me think a lot about how such a thing could happen. This book is full of terror, horror, thrill, escape, perseverance, survival, action, adventure, lessons, friendship, family, hope, and is truly a book that I would recommend. Thank you so much for listening. If you enjoyed today's episode, be sure to leave a rating and a review and to spread the word about Sora to help achieve its goal of promoting reading. I implore you to Sora.